Okay, to finish up hyperlinking, I am going to now show you how to deal with color. Remember that best design practices always have good contrast between all of your colors so that your users can distinguish different parts of your web page. In terms of this, the default color for hyperlinks is blue and you don't have to stick with that you should again choose a color that contrasts with your page in terms of default hyperlink colors that is part of your page properties so I'm going to slide down here to where it says page properties click on that one time click on links and notice that you have a couple of choices here the first one of course is that you can change the font and the size in my opinion that's never a good choice that just looks weird so I'd suggest you don't do that. In terms of your link color, notice it's blue and I can see that out here on the page. Visited link color is when a person has clicked on the hyperlink one time and it changes colors to visually let them know that they have visited that before. Rollover link color is when a person rolls over the hyperlink and active link is when they are actively clicking on the link. I'm going to go ahead and change the link color to something very different um, so that you can see that indeed that works. I'm going to change it to red. Not totally sure that's going to be a decent contrast there but for the moment we'll go ahead and do that. Visited links I'm going to again change it to something very very different and I'm going to change it to a bright green. So I've got my link color and my visited color and I'm going to apply and click OK. Now in my particular case notice that my links have changed to red which was appropriate. I'm going to go ahead and save this page but keep in mind that this does not um, show us anything. It's not until we actually get into a preview of our particular page that anything exciting has happened. And here is my preview just to contrast it to my regular page. Notice that the links are green here and red here. The reason these are green is because these are links that I have previously clicked on. Therefore, they are changing to that green color. Notice that this is a link I've never clicked on. Therefore, it is still the original red. I'm going to come back here into Dreamweaver and I'm going to show you a couple more tricks. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Page Properties and I'm going to click on links. First of all, I'm going to change my default link back color to blue because I think that's more appropriate to contrast against the background. I'm also going to change my visited to a uh, red and I can also set a rollover link color and in this particular case I'm going to do a rollover of mm, this purple. Again, all I'm doing right now is just showing you these things. These are probably not color combinations I'd use in an actual page. Notice here that the underline style is always underline, and I can take a look right here back in terms of Dreamweaver. My link truly is underlined at this point, and that's the default. But I can also choose to never underline it, to show underline only on rollover, or hide the underline on the rollover. If you are going to do these things, be consistent from page to page within your website. If you're going to have rollover colors, if you're going to have underline or no underlines, make sure you do that consistently throughout your site so that your user develops a sense of knowing how and what to expect on each particular hyperlink. I'm going to choose this feature, show underline only on rollover. So again, I've got a link color of blue visited red. My rollover is going to be this pink and it's going to show the underline only on the rollover. So when I come back into Dreamweaver I should expect this to change to blue and I should expect the underline to go away. I'm going to click OK and indeed that's what happens. Now of course to really see it in action, to see that rollover, etc., I have got to look at it in a browser. So here I am in my browser and I've gone ahead and reloaded once again, my blue is consistent between my development area in Dreamweaver and my browser. It is blue because I've never clicked on it. Here it is red because I have clicked on it. If I hover, it turns that pink color that I had designated as my rollover color and it has 
and underline. And so that's how I create rollover icons with different colors and the option of underline or no underlines. See you in a bit.